we are going to do today is we are going to do a versus video between the Milwaukee M12 uh, impact driver versus the Hilti uh, impact driver. Now, both of these tools are brushless, and I will say this, when it comes to the 12 volt system, I think Milwaukee will dominate over the Hilti because the Milwaukee, for one, has uh, speed settings on their impact driver and the Hilti is a variable trigger only and speed three sounds really fast compared to the variable trigger on Hilti. So it sounds faster. I do not know who is going to win, but I honestly think that Milwaukee is going to take this one. For the Hilti, I have a 2.6. So the closest comparison to that is the Milwaukee 3 amp hour. And we also have two uh, 4 amp hour for the Milwaukee and a 4 amp hour for the Hilti. All right, but one thing that is bad for the Milwaukee is the batteries for the uh, their 12 volt system are huge compared to other brands. But the Milwaukee, let's start with this one. The model number for this is 2553-20, 12 volt system, three, uh, four speed settings. There is uh, a screw setting, speed one, speed two, and speed three. I, that screw setting might be precision, but the, this thing is powerful. This thing is really, and it's awesome. Uh, this M12 impact is awesome. Compared to the brushed uh, version, this this is spectacular for a brushless motor, fuel as well. Uh, so this does not give you the RPMs per setting. It just gives you number three. So this goes to zero to 3,030 RPMs. And the impacts per minute is zero to 4,000. Which that's a, for a 12 volt system, that is a lot. This thing's a beast. It has one LED on the bottom. All right, so for the Hilti, the model number for this is SID2A12, brushless motor. Uh, the RPMs is uh, variables trigger only. The RPMs is zero to 2,750. And it does not say the impacts per minute, which I'll find that out right now and I'll put it in. And let's see what these can do. And remember, while you work, wear safety gloves and safety glasses. Got them right there. Now, if when it comes to comparing, since I'm using Milwaukee versus Hilti, I prefer the. This isn't against. This is uh, the safety glasses is not against brand against brand. It's the style. I prefer just the plastic itself with no frame around it. For 12 volt systems, I have a feeling these are going to be extremely powerful. So we're going to do big stuff. We're going to do uh, some specs, and we're going to do some timber locks, and we're going to test out a lag screw to see what which one of these could properly do it at a good time. It's held on by a magnet. Is the collet push in? Yes, it is. That's awesome. All right, so ready, go. As you can see, the battery is full. There is no fuel gauge on the batteries. The fuel gauge is located on the tool itself. And for the Hilti, is the collet push-in? No, it is not. You have to adjust the collet. And this is a brand new tool. They just came out with this. I do, I do not like that Hilti does not have the, uh, a regular push-in collet. All right, so this is a 2.6 amp hour battery. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. I could definitely feel that the Milwaukee one on that one. We're gonna do one lag screw each for the Hilti. Got this for the Milwaukee. Yep, push in. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna do one lag screw each with a three amp hour. So ready, go. Did a good job. It did a good job. So let's do the Hilti now. All right, so ready, go. All right, major. 
major ma uh, major power difference between the Hilti and the Milwaukee with these batteries. Now I know what people are going to say. Like I said in the earlier in the video, there is not much of a difference between a three amp uh, three amp hour and two point six. If I used a two amp hour on here, there there would be more of an amp hour difference between what we're using right now. Uh, use the Milwaukee take uh, Hilti's timber lock out and s see what happens. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, it is Hilti's turn. It's going to take Milwaukee's out. All right, so ready, go. Milwaukee is taking the cake on this. 100% Milwaukee. I can, without even knowing the results, Milwaukee's winning. But like I said, we are going to switch out batteries and see what happens after we take these two out. All right, so we're, Milwaukee is going to take Hilties out. So ready, go. Time. Oh, this thing's a this thing's a beast. When it comes to seriously, this thing is a beast. Mill uh, Hilties. Yeah, let's take this out first. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we're gonna switch out batteries. We're gonna use the four amp hour. Um, the Milwaukee and the four amp hour on the Hilti. Now, when it comes to the this video from here on out, this is 100% even when it comes to the amp hours of the batteries. So, four amp hour versus four amp hour. See, so as you can see, four amp hour, four amp hour. All right, so ready, go. That was fast. All right, so it is Hilti's turn. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's take that out. All right, so ready, go. Let's take. All right, so let's take this one out. All right, so ready, go. Time. Okay. Uh, Milwaukee so far is dominating this test. Ready, go. Fantastic. All right, it is Hilti's turn. We're going to do two. All right, so ready, go. Big diff, go. So Milwaukee is going to take out Hilties and Hilties is going to take out Milwaukee's. So ready, we're going to do two at once. Ready, go. Oh. Time. All right, it is Hilties' turn. All right, so ready, go.
what's the battery life in the four amp hour? It's down at three bars. And the uh, Milwaukee is still at four. All right, so for the final test, what we are gonna do is we are gonna drive in two, four, uh, one, four inch lag each and see how it does. Let's see. We are gonna use the We are going to use the Makita half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter using Tech Life impact rated sockets. These haven't failed me yet. Uh, speed three. Let's see if it's capable of doing it on speed three. So ready, go. Not bad at all. It did it. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Do it right next to it. Ready, go. All right, now one thing I will say for the Hilti, the Hilti's Anvil skipped a lot less than the Milwaukee's did. Milwaukee's Anvil was skipping all over the place when the Hilti, it, it skipped, but not nearly as much. All right, so Milwaukee is going to take out Hilti's lag and vice versa. Ready? Go. Both of these things are awesome. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, before they cool down, let's take a temperature reading. 100 degrees. The Hilti got up to 100 degrees at its hottest point. 83 degrees. Milwaukee's highest point is 83 degrees. So the Milwaukee ran a lot cooler doing the same amount of tasks as the Hilti uh, did. So both of these tools are fantastic. You know, like it's just amazing that a 12 volt system nowadays could even do these tasks, which that's, that's absolutely insane. All right. So, but the Milwaukee, I feel very strongly that the milwaukee did win this test by a long shot but the results are there please don't hate me for them and yeah so that's pretty much it please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time